So the Santa and his mission was founded in 1804, and eventually when the Danes settled here, the town of Salvang was kind of built right around this area. So we're starting this self-guided tour of the mission. It's $5 per person and it's indoor and out. No flash photography, but filming is allowed and photographs without flash is allowed. We have prepared for you. The question that is normally asked is, why are there missions in California? The mural on the wall in the back of the model of all missions at the nest shows the vast extent of the Spanish Empire from the 15th to the 19th century. The Spanish mission system was chosen by the Spanish crown as the means to colonize California. Spain could not supply a literate population to colonize the area. The Spanish crown commissioned the Franciscan Padres to establish a network of missions in California to convert the natives to Christianity, teach them Spanish in a trade, with the aim of making them tax-paying Spanish citizens. According to the Spanish policy, within 10 years of its founding, the Franciscans referred over each mission to a local clergy, and all common mission lands would be distributed among the converted native population. The purpose of the missions was to Christianize the Native Americans and to supply the presidios with food and manpower. The Pueblos were to be the center of civilian activity. Mission Santa Inez, the 19th of 21 missions, was founded on September 17, 1804, by Padre Esther Ben Tapas. Religious paintings were used as teaching tools for an illiterate population. Please take time to view the paintings of Santa Inez. This room contains artifacts from the late to post-mission periods. Several archaeological digs here at Mission San Inez have resulted in most of the artifacts you see in the exhibit cases. The Chumash exhibit contains some artifacts older than the mission period. The mission music and prayer books were used during services in the church. These books are written in Latin. Above the music exhibit case is a 16th century copy of the Gregorian chant, which was sung during the Catholic Mass, the site of the mission center in Venice. He instructed Father Calzada and Father Gutierrez to construct mission center in Venice and begin converting the local Chumash. Five soldiers and their families from the Santa Barbara Presidio were staged from rare old church vestments in many of the California missions. The vestments in this room are only part of the mission's large collection. Many vestments are on loan to La Parisma Mission for their display, and there are many conserved in our archives awaiting restoration. These 17th through early 19th century vestments were handmade from the cast off dresses of the ladies of the European courts. The ladies donated their elaborate and costly silk dresses to the convents where the nuns made the vestments worn by the priests during mass and other religious services. Many of the early vestments come from Spain. This collection is the result of the efforts of Mamie Goulet, a young woman who came to the mission in 1904 to assist her uncle, Father Alexander Buckler. Father Buckler was appointed guardian of the mission in 1904 and served until his retirement in 1924. When you have dedicated to Mary, the Mother of God, we have collected our priceless Madonnas, both in sculpture and in paintings. This room was once part of Father Buckler's quarrels. The altar was formerly one of the side altars in church. 
and is made of wood with a faux marble painted finish. The sign figure above the altar is Mata Dolorosa, or our mother of sorrows, originally part of the crucifixion tableau. This is a late 17th century Mexican wood carving with polychrome finish. Detail of the figure worked into the gesso as it dried. Finally, gold or silver leaf was applied, and then the various colors were painted on, a remarkably deep warm glow. And when the gold was exposed through a stencil pattern, the effect is a large copy of the famous Virgin of Guadalupe. She is the patroness of the Americans. On the opposite wall, in the her peregrina, or traveling virgin. She was frequently taken from one church to another and was always dressed for the journey. Over the niche is the permanent painting of Our Lady of Refuge, Refugio. This chapel is used as a cry room during the masses celebrated here. In the floor, Surrounded by white marks of the print of a chimneyish child's feet, put there before the tiles had been sun dried. These tiles and all these floors were made before 1812, and these footprints go back to that time. This is the same mission church that was dedicated in 1817, and has been modernized to transition from an Indian church to a parish church. Lighting, cues, and an audio system have been added. Originally, mission churches were for the Indians. Non-Indian settlers attended Mass in the Friars Chapel. The interior dimensions of the church are 139 feet by 26 feet, and there is a 17-foot by 26-foot sacristy in the rear of the wall behind the altar. Looking at the direction of the altar on the rear wall, or Rados, as it is called in church architecture, you will see the original full marble murals painted by Chumash artists in 1824. The Franciscans used as a model for this wall a drawing of a Roman temple from the Book of Architecture by Vitruvius, a Roman architect who lived in the first century BC. The walls are original except for small areas which were restored in 1978. You may get the illusion of depth in the panels, but actually it is a flat surface except for the niche of St. Agnes, which is high over the altar. The roses, just below the ceiling, are original and are similar to those in Mission San Miguel. The colors for the artwork on the back wall were derived from the juices of berries, roots, herbs, and so on, and then often mixed with the juice of the cactus. The door on the left side of the altar is fake, a common feature in neoclassical art. The ceiling of the church is the original one of the 1814 restoration, except for the earthquake reinforcement you see on each ceiling beam. The ceiling beams are sugar pine from the San Rafael Ranch, 30 miles to the north of the mission. In May 1844, the first seminary of the future state of California was established here. The College of Our Lady of Refuge of Sinners.
This is the original floor of the two-story building. They were buried 1916, 1909, 1930, 1928. Not sure if we're allowed to walk, so I think I'm just going to stay back here.